All right. <laughs> the main event of the evening. We will be doing this game. I cannot wait. Alabama, Michigan. Michigan's a one and a half point favorite, which a lot of people that I've been hearing are, are like, how do you even pick Michigan? And it just people are all over Alabama for the most part. But let me kind of paint this up the way that I look. Georgia and Michigan are very, very similar teams. Only difference being really slightly better quarterback play at Georgia, slightly better running backs at Michigan. Very similar teams. It's going to be interesting to see how Michigan tries to defend Jalen Milrow. Georgia tried to, to spy on him. It didn't work completely the whole game. Um, you know, I don't – it just depends. <clears throat> so that's going to be the interesting part to see how this game plays out. But as far as Alabama goes, I mean, I think that their corners and safeties are really going to be able to possibly even sit in the box and J.J. McCarthy might not be able to throw on them. And Michigan's going to be trying to run the ball on Alabama. We already know this, but Michigan's got one of the slowest offenses in the country. They're going to run the ball and lean on it and run the clock out. And mm -hmm. if you're Alabama, I mean, you might even want to get into a shootout instead of that scenario with Michigan. And that's that's probably why they are favored, because people probably are looking at this game and saying, yeah, Michigan's going to run the ball on Alabama. And I agree. Yeah, they have um, to. They, 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 they will. They got to, if we're being honest here. I mean, there's nothing against Ohio State and Penn State that showed us that J.J. McCarthy would be able to throw on Alabama that has a better secondary than both of those teams. Well, we saw, like, in the Penn State game, they went more run heavy, and it worked. We yeah. saw it. So, um, yeah, give me Bama. I don't. I don't think. I think Jalen Milrow. And, and the last thing I'll say is the outside noise that we've been hearing, and, and it, we've still got a few days until this game. But Jim Harbaugh just came out and said that Jalen Milrow is a more polished version of Alex Orgy, their their backup quarterback. And Jalen Milrow's calling out Bill O'Brien mm -hmm. for saying he should have never got to be, never, you know, never should have been a quarterback. Um, they, are, I, Nick Saban on revenge tour, like we talked about earlier, his best it, coaching job possibly of his career. I think Jalen Milrow is going to eat their lunch. It's Harbaugh trying to give look Harbaugh. This isn't Iowa where you can disrespect them and get away with it. This yeah. is Alabama we're talking here. Yeah, it's a different caliber of team, man. Like, um, you, could, you can get away with it. When we were called clowns and everything several weeks ago for saying that. Alabama might be the scariest team. Mm -hmm. And then they hit the hiccup with Auburn. But people don't realize, like, you got to treat rivalry games, especially as big as Auburn and Alabama is, differently. That game should be close, right? You should be more concerned with the way that the outcome was with Georgia and Auburn than you would be with Alabama and Auburn. Auburn. Yep. And it seemed that that theory was proven right because where is Georgia right now? Sitting on the couch, playing in a bowl game that's not considered – college football semifinal and i would honestly sit here and say i would be more concerned over the michigan maryland outcome that should not have been that two close. years two years straight two, two years, years straight. straight like let's be honest here i accept all alabama struggle versus auburn more, more than i do michigan versus maryland it's nothing against maryland they're a good school but like if if i have maryland auburn i'm probably gonna pick auburn in that game Auburn's here's my thing school. This uh, this Alabama team is awesome because there's not a clear front uh, outside of Dallas Turner, and I wouldn't even say Dallas Turner is that big of a name like his counterparts of past years, and even Jalen Milrow. Jalen Milrow is getting talked about a lot because of what how exciting he is to watch, not because he's one of the country's best quarterbacks. Let's let's get it twisted. Let's not get it twisted here, and because he plays for Alabama, of course, his name is going to be mentioned amongst. A lot of guys that get talked about all year. But this team is not a bona fide, like, oh, my God, there is a Will Anderson Jr. on this team. Kool-Aid McKinstry is just I Like, There's I've been no saying Ryan this all time. Branch, he's Jordan Battle. He's, he's okay. Eli Ricks was better. Eli. Now, with all that being said, Milrow is going to present a problem mm -hmm. to them that they haven't seen all year. Not only is he a tough runner, 
he's a bruising runner at that. He's a big dude as well. I'm not saying like Cam Newton big. He's just a muscular guy. Like he's going to be able to take hits. One thing, the biggest thing lacking on Alabama is their running game. But mm -hmm. they're going to make up with it with Jalen Milrow. J.J. McCarthy is going to try to pull his best Jalen Milrow. He thinks that he can pull. And them dudes on Alabama might clap him all game. He might get hit the hardest he's ever been hit all season long against Alabama. And that's going to rattle him to the core. You did make up a good point, Fishing. I've been saying it all year. J.J. McCarthy is not in the caliber. He's not even in the echelon of quarterbacks like Michael Penix Jr. and the rest of those guys. And people wanted to try to force feed him and try to, try to put him up there. And now people are starting to realize that, like, dude, them throws that I've been telling you that you couldn't make, them outside the numbers throws on the sideline where you, your, your wide receiver has the Tony toe tap for that first down, he can't make those throws. He can't, and he's not going to be able to make the plays on his feet either. Michigan's defense might get exposed a little bit here, and it's going to be a disservice to how good that they've been all year, and I'm going to hate that for Michigan. Michigan's running game is not going to be as good, and it's going to be a disservice for how good their running game has been all year, playing a team like <laughs> Mich uh, ten, playing a team like Alabama. And, and let's be but, uh, honest This here. is just what happens against teams like Alabama, though. Mm-hmm. They make you seem less worthy than what you've been crowned all year. And, and let's be honest here, too, with this whole thing. Alabama has played way more tougher opponents than Michigan did. Yes, they beat Ohio State and Penn State. I'm not going to deny Michigan that. They're in the playoffs for a reason. I just want to get that clear. But if we're looking at schedule and, like, level of play, the SEC has a Michigan beat. I don't know. Alabama, that's actually, that's actually a, debatable. Alabama <laughs> had to go I through Ole Miss, disagree. LSU. Georgia, they lost to Texas in their schedule. To mention the two toughest teams, Michigan played Ohio State and Penn State. Like Alabama had a way tougher schedule as well. If you gave them Michigan's schedule, Alabama will be putting up the numbers Michigan did this year. Let's be honest here. You got to give Michigan credit though. They played. I will. Mm -hmm. and, two and I said that top two bona fide top three defenses this year. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And I give credit to Michigan for that for that reason. Like they stood up to what they did. Oh my gosh, my dog is scratching at my door. It's a slide out the way. <laughs> um, I get I get yeah. what he's saying, but like, Michigan's, yeah, I mean, Michigan has been good. Towards, I mean, after they beat yeah. Penn State and and Ohio State, everybody need to shut up. I mean, even me, just is what yeah. it is. You gotta, you yeah. gotta take your L. Oh, I agree. You know, yeah, uh, this game will be closer than when people realize. I will say oh, that. Oh, right? I don't think it's. Uh, I'm not. I ain't gonna go that far. I don't think it's gonna be close in the second half, and I stand by I, that. I, I think this mm -hmm. game's gonna be close because I'll just get into it now. Uh, I think the, the fourth quarter off, is gonna be the Jalen Milrow show. Yes, I, I I'm going to Alabama. What the here. hell? You good? Your camera is acting up. Well, you well you fix your camera. I'll just go off here. Alabama. I'm gonna go Alabama. Alabama's offense ranks 53 overall in the nation. Passing-wise, they're 58. Rushing-wise, 46. But the defense is where Alabama has been stellar at this year. 19 overall defense, 24th in the passing, 29th in the rushing. So that's Alabama. Michigan offense ranks 68th. Passing-wise, they rank 72. And we, everyone knows how good this backfield is for Michigan. Rushing-wise, they only rank 60. With the, the talent they have back there, only 60. The defense, completely different story. They rank top five in defense. Their overall rank is number two in the nation. Passing-wise, they're number two. Rushing-wise, number five. And you, you cannot discredit that. That defense has been absolutely stellar. For Michigan, they have been stepping up on both sides of the trenches. You can They have arguably the best offensive line in the country. They have a great defensive line, a good secondary. Like They are a good, rounded team. But, but one of my questions with Michigan is, is Jim Harbaugh going to be out coach again in the, in the playoffs? Like he has the last two years. He got out coach versus Georgia, out coach versus TCU. 
and now he's facing. I don't think he was out coached from TCU. JJ McCarthy just played like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, touchdown Oklahoma. Um, you and now he's facing the greatest college coach in college history, and who has avenges, like Fishin said, Jalen Milrow is on something right now because Bill O'Brien saying you ain't it. You shouldn't play quarterback. He has a fire up his rear. You also added Jim Harbaugh's comics, which isn't helping their case at all. Like it's not looking good for Michigan and they're probably facing the best offense. They have faced all year in Alabama. And this Alabama defense isn't mm-hmm. a pushover either. This defense held Ole Miss's offense to, I believe, 24 points. And Ole Miss has a very good offense. Here's LSU. the thing that I'll, I'll, here's the thing that I'll say to that, Hayden. Let me put my little score prediction up. Yeah, go ahead. Here's, here's the thing that I'll say. This game means more to Jim Harbaugh than it does to Nick Saban. Oh, 100%. Jim Harbaugh has more to lose in this game than uh, Nick Saban. Uh, yes, his legacy is dependent on this game. If Nick Saban loses, no one's going to question. If Nick Saban game. loses, you know what people are going to say? Uh, this wasn't the caliber of team that Nick is used this, to, this been, isn't, used this to have. The, yeah. He's got there, the best excuse in the world to lose this game. But also, Nick can't get smashed in this game either. He can't. <laughs> it's going to be a close game, in my opinion, from the first quarter to the last minute. If Michigan wins this game, I would my jaw would be on the ground. Oh, I'll be shocked too, and I'll – I'll say this, Michigan. I I will come out and make an apology video. Uh, but but here's the thing, if they, <clears throat> here's what I say about both teams. If Michigan wins this game, I don't think there's any way that they're beating Washington or te- Texas. Ah. Eh. If Alabama wins this game, I think they beat Washington or Texas. I, I think it's the opposite effect. I don't think so. Michigan does rank good in the passing game. If we're being honest, I'm well. They're the number two nation for a reason. I, I'll say this: I Here's think why, if Michigan, go ahead, go ahead. if if Michigan can run for five yards a carry, and JJ can do something with those tight ends, because that's where I think the matchup lies on offense. If you can find any matchup issue for Alabama in Michigan's favor, I think it's those tight ends. It, it has to be. You so ain't get nothing going. With if Trump. you get five yards a carry in the running game. And you've got J.J. dumping it off the tight ends up the middle. Alabama could be in trouble. It's just I don't think it'll happen. Not to the extent to where Michigan can have that much success and win the game. Michigan had like 4.3 yards of carry against Ohio yeah. State. Crazy. Still won, but when you're leaning on the run game and drowning clock out, you kind of need to start mm-hmm. putting big runs together. So, yeah. I don't yeah. know. That's my opinion. And plus, the coaching you, advantage is just obvious here. Yeah, it's obviously leaning towards the you, next you, Are you picking Bama? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I am. I got a rematch with Bama and Texas. That's my prediction. Well, here's, here's why I say that the Alabama thing, though. Alabama beating Michigan will just catapult their confidence and when Alabama's confident, <coughs> they've already played Texas, and Texas beat them. That's a revenge game. Mm-hmm. And Washington hasn't played a defense like Alabama, <laughs> so no. they're screwed. So that's why I say Alabama wins. And if Michigan wins against Alabama, I don't think Michigan has played an offense the caliber or Washington or Texas. No. So they're screwed. This just just doesn't bode well. the 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 odds are in are not in Michigan's favor, but the odds of Alabama winning are in their favor. They all have Alabama has way more advantages going into a game Mm -hmm. against Texas or Washington than Michigan does against going into them. I I just don't see how Michigan survives in a national championship. We might be seeing TCU two point oh happen if they make it to the national championship. And I know it just sounds like I'm just crapping on Michigan at this point. It has nothing to do with that. I'm just it, logically looking at it up and down. Like it just, I don't think they f- fare well against Washington or Texas. I don't know about that. No, it makes sense. That makes Michigan, sense. Michigan, but here's the thing with that: Michigan's strength lies in their defense. The sh- 
like the strength of Washington and Texas is their offense. We all know that. You're going to have a match of favorability more for Michigan, in my opinion, in that than you do here. Yeah. Like, you like. <laughs> this dude Manny so, said if Michigan wins against Bama, I, I think they might just win the Natty. Look, it's going to be this year's. If Michigan playoffs, wins the national championship, my jaw will be on. I'll stop doing this podcast. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I would not say Michigan's <laughs> going to be. <laughs> no, I won't. Don't say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be me in this situation. <laughs> Don't be me. No, but like, there's a. Like, I'll buy a JJ McCarthy jersey if they. That's that's the bet. Oh no! I will oh, buy God. a JJ McCarthy jersey if they win a national championship. I would say this though, like, I'm not gonna disrespect Michigan like that. Like, there's a reason why they have the number two ranked defense overall. Yes, their schedule wasn't like Washington or Texas. But still, like, Jim Harbaugh ha- has made that defense nice. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. going to deny that either. Damn. There's a reason they're the number two defense in the nation. I bet myself a damn J.J. McCarthy jersey. This yeah, that's that's wild. <clears throat> that, that, that's on you. I would have just said I would have made uh, a huge apology video. So, by, by position group, who's got the better secondary to y'all? Out of all. These two teams are all to the four teams. These two. These two. Alabama. The, the better secondary? Uh-huh. It's close. On paper is Michigan. Mm-hmm. I but think in game wise, though, I think it's Alabama. In game it's I've Alabama. Seen. Like uh, that's what saw... I that's what I was about to say. Yeah. In game I so the the thing about Alabama is like they're not the raw raw team like you know what I'm saying? Like Michigan is in their secondary. Michigan, you see them, they're like Making big plays, but what's what's that what's that dude's name? Um, what's that dude's name on Michigan? Will Johnson. Who Will Will Johnson? Yeah. You say what you want. He was getting worked by Marvin Harrison Jr. before he got hurt. He was getting worked by him. And what have we been saying about Jermaine Burton all year? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You ain't gotta. You can be as physical as you want to. You ain't gonna catch Jermaine Burton when he is in open field. The only thing that beats him is his own team when he when he catches a pass. Yeah, that's holding. Good point too. <clears throat> like I'm paper. I I don't care what the paper says this far in the season. I'm going based off of what we know. And the so future. and so we'll say Alabama front. What's front seven? Front seven is Alabama. Front seven Alabama O line. O line Michigan. 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 You can argue they have the best in the nation. Right. When they're on, because their tackles sometimes are. I, that's why I said you can argue and not saying they are. You so and then we go we go running back. Obviously, that's Michigan. Michigan. Quarterback, that's obviously Alabama. Okay. Tight ends, that's obviously Michigan. Michigan. So these these are these matchups are Ooh. these it, it, this is pretty even. This is an even matchup. Coaching Alabama receivers. Looking at at it from that spectrum, even though we just broke it down completely different how we think the game will go, but on paper this matchup, and is that's really why cool. I don't think we're gonna have uh like one team fully pull away like, and it's like a I do. Team. I think it's gonna I be. Think, a, I think the cool fourth game. quarter is going to unlock Jalen Milrow. I think this is gonna be a back, and, and he's gonna be screaming in the camera. I should have won the Heisman. Watch. <laughs> no, nah, I'm and like don't let Jermaine Burton go crazy either, bro. I'm telling you. I can't wait to see the matchup between Will Johnson and Jermaine Burton. Uh, and, let's, and let's not let's not even forget to mention. Here's the thing, Vic. They're not even the best receivers against Alabama's. Stop, stop. stop. They're wait, aren't out. they aren't they missing? Oh, that's right. Jacory Brooks is he. He was yeah, in the but they got Isaiah board. Bond. They got oh yeah, Isaiah Jermaine Bond. Bird. Isaiah up. Bond. Yeah, that's true. What, what do you mean? We we should know about him, Tony. Hey, Apple. and uh, and in the Georgia it. game, when when did you hear from Jam Miller all year? Yeah, they dialed up a wheel route for him. Touchdown! Like, like Nick I Saban mean, has stuff yeah. hidden in the trick play. It's for this Tommy, game. He Tommy hasn't Reese has been. <laughs> we I, we saw it You gotta give, you gotta give Tommy Reese some props too. <laughs> Manny said Dante be picturing things in his head that actually come true. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vic, you say hey, we'll Michigan we'll has see. the best rushing offense when they're not even ranked top fifty. So how can you say they had the best rushing offense on paper? Yes. Field wise, they're not top fifty. Who Michigan? 
Yeah. I don't know about that, Chief. Uh, they're lit efficient. They're they're ranked sixty eighth in the ru- no rushing. Yeah, they rank I, I watched enough Michigan. Yeah, yeah. I don't know they rank sixtieth. That's not good for what they got on paper. That's not good. I mean, I mean, Edwards also been ghost this year too. So yeah, like, like no. they have been non-existent in the rushing game, like everyone thought they would be this year. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. like it's been a down year for Michigan. The fact they're number one is still, that just shows what the Big Ten was this year then.